if you was the one Put your feelings aside, we can keep this low Feeling your vibe on the regular God sent me a sign from the stars above Had to decide if you was the one Put your feelings aside, we can keep this low Feeling your vibe on the regular y'all it's your girl sass and i'm back with another one straight thanks if you haven't already make sure you drop those comments down below subscribe to this channel make sure you hit the bell on the side so you get notified when a girl posts and what last but not least make sure you like this video up like this one the last one the last one and the last one before that do those steps for your girl do it for me do it for the whole thing so um, earlier today, I was just thinking I wanted to share some light with y'all, some um, like important tips like to take since, you know, we all stuck in the house, quarantine, whatever the whole, you know, the whole coronavirus, all of that was going on. So um, I just wanted to, um, I, I put on Instagram, give me some um, girl talks and I have some couple of a few topics that I want to share with y'all. So this one I got from my sis Hyla. I really love uh, her her um her topic, and I wanted to speak on it. So it says um, the girl talk is I'm informing y'all on you know just what to take from. You don't have to take everything, but you know just key tips on what to take from this video. So her topic was the topic is. Tell them to do not be accessible to everyone because that's how you lose your value in yourself. Which I agree. I really like that. Um, I feel like me personally, um, I'm not accessible, uh, access accessible of how, however you said, um, I'm not accessible to everyone. To um, and it goes for both genders, girls and boys um the reason why i said it because everybody don't need your time everybody don't value your time everybody don't value you and you can't give you know yourself you can't be valuable to other people because other people don't value other people don't value you so um i looked up some tips and losing value in yourself is basically respecting yourself like um don't be caught up in relationships don't be caught up in friendships to where you lose yourself to where you forget your respect to where you forget your self-determination or your self-worth and stuff like that i already did a video on self-worth or self-love so um i'm gonna put it down i'm gonna put it i'm gonna put it in the description down below so you can click on that and watch it you know tune in to your girl because you already know um your girl it's another episode of the talks with says you already know i created that or whatever it's the talks with says you already y'all already know y'all get y'all get the real me when y'all have like a real one-on-one -on -one interaction with me so um let's see it said um some ways on how to lose your value in yourself uh ways that you shouldn't like ways to help you build your value in yourself um ways to for you to be able to respect yourself the number one way is um well number one is do not let do not let other people do not let do not let other people's opinion control you and i agree i agree because um i feel like if you have other people controlling you and telling you what to do and telling you how to do things in life, you ain't gonna, you ain't you're not going to be able to do things and provide things for yourself. You're not going to be able to think for yourself. Um, I, I fully agree with that. Um, I feel like other people' opinion doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Um, they can put their opinion, but it all comes down to you and what you truly believe in and what you truly want in life. And for you. And you only to go for it. Um, everybody don't live your life. Everybody not in your bubble. They may be around you in your circle and stuff like that. But you and your you is your own individual person. And that's why I agree with that. 
it said don't speak badly up on yourself um i fully agree with that a lot of people say um i am self-confident i am confident i'm confident in myself you're supposed to be confident in yourself you're supposed to you're supposed to look at yourself like damn like not be arrogant about it i ain't gonna say be arrogant about it but don't I've, I've been told i've been called so many names through high school that it don't offend me no more it don't offend me i don't let it get to me because it ties back into number one people's opinion on you the other people opinion on you shouldn't matter about you because you know that's other people's opinion that's other people's thoughts um i feel like speaking badly upon yourself it only creates negativity in your mind um when you think of oh i look bad or i look fat or i'm i don't have as much hair as this person everybody is not the same everybody is not equal i feel like i feel like um yeah everybody everybody is not equal i feel like everybody is their own individual person and, and god created each person individually and you you have to you have to be able to set you have to be able to accept your flaws and imperfections and that's what i try to do um i know what i need to work on in myself but i'm not gonna speak that up on myself i'm gonna speak positivity i'm i don't speak bad up on my name and i'm not gonna let nobody else speak bad up on my name because i know this confidence is way up i'm telling y'all i'm just i'm just being honest number three is don't let anybody force you to be or do anything you don't want to do or be or simply to gain their approval or friendship i agree i truly agree um uh, peer pressure is a motherfucking i don't care if it's if it's adolescent teenager adult it's still uh, it still can affect you um a lot of people and still to this day i'm not a drinker I mean, I, I drink occasionally now, but I'm not a smoker at all. But I remember when a lot of people used to be like, dang, you don't drink. You don't drink. How you don't drink? You don't do nothing. You just boring. I'm telling y'all, like, if y'all in the life with me, <laughs> the life of Sassy, if y'all around me, I know how to, I know how to party. Like, I don't need a drink. I don't need to smoke. I don't need all of that. I know how to vibe and I know how to vibe right. I don't know that's just this just the kind of, i'm i'm chill laid back or whatever but i know like you know when the lips don't come on like <laughs> i know how to do all of that like um i'm just i just be in there i don't need all of that and i'm telling y'all that be a mud like that be something i'm telling y'all don't let nobody force you to what you don't believe in or what you don't want to do because it's like okay if i do this then what is gonna prove what is gonna prove like and then you're gonna be looking at yourself like damn like mm, losing your virginity that's the one that is one like from like i would say i would say when is the age that people start i would say what 13 14 when you get in high school you start liking boys and you start seeing all the attractive boys and stuff like that I feel like that is a time where you start crushing and stuff like that. And a lot of people, um, uh, like now, this generation now, they losing their virginity early. Um, and I wasn't, I wasn't, I feel like all my friends at the time lost their virginity at a reasonable time when they felt like they needed to. But I wasn't in a rush. Yeah, I had so many dudes come my way, but not everybody is worth. Number goes back to number one. Not everybody is worth your time i'm telling you not everybody's worth your time um i wasn't giving my time to these dudes you know people these dudes put the, these cookies in your head they put everything in here like oh i'm just you know that person i'ma buy you this i'ma get you this and it all of this they talk they talk but you know all in all like i wasn't about to lose my virginity i waited and i prefer any young adult not young adult i would prefer any adolescent or teenager to wait until they actually find a person who they can really lose that to because i feel like it's something special but i have a story time on that when i lost mine if you didn't know now you know um number four says don't violate your own moral codes and underneath it because i didn't i wanted to you know understand what it mean i know what i know what my morals and values are but like you know other people have their different perspectives so it says if you think better you will act better and if you act better you will feel better 
I agree. I agree. I agree. That has been my 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 model since like last year. Um, remove all the negativity. Remove all the negativity, and it go back goes back to number three. Speaking highly upon yourself. If you if if you think better in your mind, if you think better, you will do better. If you think, oh, you know what? I'm gonna live a stress free life. You know, I'm gonna get this car I want. I'm gonna get this job I want. I'm gonna get this man I want. If you live it, if you think it, if you think it and believe it, you know, everything will manifest, and you know, it will get better. I'm telling you, don't don't violate your own morals. Don't settle for less. Please don't don't. My sister told me. My mentor, my sister, she told me never settle for less. Don't just because just because. They have so many dudes out here. They have so many dudes out here that meet that is fit for everybody. But I'm not gonna lower my morals and my values and my standards because of the next person. Me and me and the next person is not the same person. We are two individual people. For five, it says increase your knowledge. It says develop interest and passion. Find a hobby. Learn as much as you can. Learning about things going on in the world around you will expand your brain power and understanding. And will let you speak intelligently to a wide variety of people you meet. I agree. I agree. I was taught this in... I was taught it in high school. But I got like a, a rude awakening when I got in college. And I had um, work study. And I was told that, you know... I have a strong accent. I know I have a strong accent. If you didn't know, I'm from New Orleans. But um, I have a strong accent and I was told that I couldn't answer the phone or, you know, do certain things because my accent sounded a little too aggressive or it's too strong or it's too unrecognizable. Like, yeah, unrecognizable. It's a word. Um, you know, not everybody is actually from where you from or not everybody, you know, speaks the same language you speak or speak the same slang you speak you know never not everybody is going to be able to recognize you so i had to like you know increase my knowledge and learn a little bit better and this goes for my leos these leos they are know it all my two best friends oh they know who they talk about if they ever see this video they are know it alls like they think they know everything and i feel like um i feel like everybody learns at their own pace and i feel like um i feel like growing up um i'm real i'm real smart and intellectual i feel like i am but growing up you're gonna always and no matter what it is from a job from your mother from your sister from your cousin from your boss you're gonna always be able to learn and you know pull something from what they teaching you to develop you know your own thinking of your own your own you know feeling of things you know when you have children or whatever you're going to be able to install that knowledge in your kids your family you know or based off what you experienced in your life and so that's why I, that's why i feel like i agree with that hang around encouraging people who are doing positive things and y'all let me tell y'all something let me go to this quote right here i told y'all no i was doing a vlog but I deleted it because I ain't gonna post it. But I was telling y'all my cousin is heavily into church. And we was talking about positivity and you know, um, the company around you and stuff like that. And it says one of the quotes, I love this quote. I love this quote and I'm gonna stand by this quote. But it says, do not mislead. Bad company corrupts good character. And I feel like that is exactly what that is. Hang around the people who who put ooh, and I try to be and I try to be it for my friends because both of my friends they have their own things and what they're doing they have their own lives they both have kids and stuff like that but I feel like you know they let throw it off a little I ain't gonna lie they throw it off I don't care they throw it off in a good way and in a bad way but I love them today but um and I go to war for them I don't care but um. I feel like um, they have a lot of things that they had going on and they both are similar. They met two different, I met them two different ways and they both are two different ages. 
but they both have similar backgrounds and i wanted that's why I, they both my best friends but i wanted them to come together and and meet because they both do the same thing they both have similar backgrounds they both have one children that's only one year apart you know stuff like that and um i try to steer in them like even though they've been through what they've been through in life um and i've been through what i've been through in life um not as bad but i have been through things and I luckily I have good people on my team that you know steers this in me and you know gets me together when I need to get together when I need to get together but um you know I tell them you know when they go to talking about people stop talking about people um don't matter what it is it's karma don't matter what it is karma can be that job that you wanted that you can't get karma could be like that car that you wanted that you can't get Karma could be any form. It's any form of karma. It could be any form of karma. And that's why I've been trying to focus on myself and do better. And, you know, store that store that positivity in my friends. Because I feel like by me doing that, they're going to be like, oh, yeah. I see what Sassy was talking about. I see what she was talking about. You know, let me stop doing this. Let me do this. Let me do this better. Let me treat this a different way. Let me do this. Let me do this. Everything happens for a reason and i'm telling y'all I, I i i agree with that so much y'all i agree with that so much hang around people hang around encouraging people that are doing positive things i'm telling y'all i'm telling y'all it affects you it affects you believe it or not and i was looking i was talking to oh my better my Karen about to die. Hold on. Spec others. Let my, my Karen about to die, so I'm about to hurry up and speed this up. But the number six or whatever it is, it said respect others. I feel like everyone should be treated with respect. Respect goes a long ways. Whether it's, you know, young, old, you know, it goes a long way. So respect one another. And the last one, but the last but not least, is make good decisions. If you make good decisions, it also will go a long ways. Um, you never wish your good decisions may 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 come again. May come two um i feel like good decisions if you're making good decisions you know sometimes it could be bad decisions and stuff like that but making good decisions it help you it, it, it empowers you it you know influence you like like me going to atlanta people everybody don't think i should go to atlanta everybody you know have their own opinions but at the end of the day i'm growing and i'm gonna make my own decisions and making good decisions and i feel like this is a, a perfect decision for me based off what i'm trying to do and provide for y'all you know my team build my team and stuff like that um so these are some tips on ways to value yourself um make you not be accessible to everyone and everything you're having value in yourself having having that respect in yourself so um i hope you guys enjoyed this video make sure you stay tuned for more content on the way make sure you stay tuned for more collabs on the way send me some ideas in, in the dms um my snapchat name is the gorgeous i'm put it down below and my instagram down below and in the description below you can check that as well but um leave in the comments down below please leave in the comments what what videos you want me to see um yeah um I hope you enjoyed this video um and stay tuned for more lit content <laughs> make sure you tell a friend to tell a friend to tell a friend to come join life of sassy and come join the plush gang 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 and until then we out